Good morning. Friday morning and, and looking forward to the weekend. I said when I was on here the other day that I was going to come back a few days later and talk to you about the different uh, ways that you can have items printed or prints printed, um, the different forms etc. And that's what I'm here for today. So I'm going to show you a few samples, mostly of the same image and you'll get a sense of hopefully um, how different it can look. Because when you're looking at um, choosing a picture for your room or for your office, whatever, uh, there are decisions to be made not only around what type of image and which specific image or images, but how you're going to get them printed and how are you going to get them framed. And that can be a little bit of a challenge. So I thought I'll bring you a couple to have a look at. And if there's kind of, it's a bit ironic really because they can tend to look very different. Some of them like to sort of look better in matted. Um, with mats and, and traditional frames, some look better on metal. Of course, still a, a matter of personal taste, uh, but there's always some that seem to look better some way, and, and some print differently on, say, fabric than they would do on paper, etc. So I chose one, and they look, it looks good on all of them, so it doesn't give quite the, 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 the mixture of examples I was hoping for, but we'll just have to go with that and see what happens. Hopefully you'll get a sense anyway. And I'm going to start off by using, showing you the print on photographic paper. And the reason for that is this is a print I've got in a giveaway at the moment. And I want to handle it while I know my hands have just been cleaned and before I pick up any dust off or anything like that because I haven't got gloves with me. So I'm going to start here. So the picture is, um, it's one called Windows. And again, it's in my, oh, my give, print giveaway at the moment. So if you're interested in maybe winning this print, uh, you can go to uh, the link in my bio, go to the website, at the top there's an announcement bar and there's something you can click on to enter for this giveaway. So this is a print on luster paper, which is basically fairly standard photographic paper, it's not glossy, it's not metallic, there's a slight shine to it, but it's not too bad. Um, let me see if I can get it and make sure that I also get it the right way. And I'm just going to go hold it by the air because it's not been flattened yet. So, as you can see, the, ends, the corners are curling up. But this is it. It's quite a nice print on luster photo paper. So you can see there's a little bit of a shine to it. The colours are really nice on it. Um, and so that's the type of print that you would put, probably put either with a white mat around it to flatten it. So you can see the, this does have a white border, so that gives you an idea what the matting might look like. Um, but then you would also put it in a frame, whichever type you would that would look nice in a, a not even look that, I was going to say a black frame, or maybe a brownish black frame, but it probably also look good in some kind of bluish frame because of the colours that's in it. Um, but that's the standard picture, standard picture, that's the standard format, a print on photo paper, luster photo paper, which you then might mat and frame in a kind of traditional way, similar to, I haven't got this one in that type of frame, so I'm going to have to show you a different picture, white matting, black frame, that type of thing, okay? Except that would be bigger because that print is 21 by mm, 21 by 14 inches, I think. Um, let me think if there's anything else I need to say about that. I don't think there is. So that that is the, the photo print. So other ones that you can get are metal. I'll show you in a second. Um, canvas, acrylic, and on merch. And I'll show you that. I showed you this the other day, but I'll show you it again. So I'm going to show you each of them. And you'll probably see there's actually not a big difference in the look of them. Because usually when you print it, there's different printing processes, obviously. So on the metal, there's a kind of heat, heat, heating system, or uh, heating process that's used to be able to print on the metal. And you think that, you know, that's done very differently to, say, the canvas uh, and the acrylic and to a photo print. And they're all different types of materials. So usually there's a different look to them. Some of them might have stronger colours, some of them might not. Some of them might be a bit darker. But on this image, they all look really uncannily alike to me. <clears throat> you can see some differences. I've just seen a slight difference, so I'll be able to tell you. Maybe it's the light I've got it in. <clears throat> Excuse me. So I'm going to start with the metal. And they're not all the same size, so I showed you 21 by 14 in the paper print. This one, I think, is about 18 by 12, and this is the metal print. Okay. Let's see. That's really quite nice. I'll show you close up for the details. This has got a lot of details. And again, this is Windows, which is in my 
art, current art print giveaway for that paper print. Um, so this is printed on metal, and I think my recollection is, I can be entirely sure actually, there's three types of metal you can get them printed on, or three types of finish. So it gets, it's printed on the metal, you can see how thin it is as well. There. This is the print, this is the mount for it, and it's wired at the back so you can hang it up very easily. Um, but basically, uh, what was I saying? What was I saying about this? So this is the metal print. It's going to come back to me in a second. Um, completely lost my thread there. Right, metal print, 18 by 12 um, colours. Colours. Oh, I know what I was going to say. The finish. So you can you kind of choose your print if you want to get it on metal. And then what you can see, so you can see like a reflection on this one. And that's a, a window over there. Um, you can actually choose a three types of finishes, or one of three types of finishes when you get the metal. So one of them is the, uh, the glossy one. And I don't think this is glossy, but I could be wrong. No, I don't think it is glossy. Mm. It looks quite shiny. Let me go and feel, tell you what the rest of them are. There's glossy, there's satin, and there's matte. So glossy will get really, all the colours coming out really popping out, except you're going to get a lot of reflections. Uh, so maybe this one's not too bad. You can see reflections. If you go to the satin, then you get some reflection, but not as bad as you get with the glossy. And if you go to the matte, you don't get the reflections. Uh, however, it's a bit more toned down, a bit more uh, it's kind of um, a bit more of a quiet look to it. So it, you have to make a decision around whether you want the bright colours and the popping, and whether you can put up with the reflections. And that would depend on where you're actually going to hang it. You might get, you know, if you've got a lot of windows and you want to be able to see this better, then you might want to look at getting the matte version or the satin version. Uh, if you've got lights over it, you might want to be wary about that type of thing. The good thing, though, is this is a really nice, this print really suits metal. Um, and it just, it's just a, a really nice format for printing, very lightweight, easy to transport, easy to ship, easy to hang. Uh, and it looks quite, it's got kind of industrial modern look to it, not just the image, but the kind of uh, the way that it's done. Also, this is nice, the edges are not sharp, they're very slightly rounded, so you're not going to catch it or clip yourself on that one. So that's metal. Next one. Um, this is a big surprise for me, and uh, I'm not a big fan of printing on canvas and having the frames. It can look nice, but quite often I find that I, I just don't like it. It seems to dull the colours sometimes and, and, and just doesn't work for me. But I've had this one printed on canvas and I've changed my mind. <laughs> this is canvas. And you can see, if I show you the metal again, if I bring the metal one back. There's the metal. There's the canvas. I think you can see those. The colours are pretty much the same. Maybe a little bit more dull on, well, definitely more of a dull finish on this. You've got no reflections because it's basically Whoops, archival quality canvas, like you find your paintings on and things, but it's had the print painted on, uh, printed on it. And it looks really nice, so um, quite interesting to see that. So with these as well, this is, get, uh, I think this is a, about one and a half inches thick, this one. You can get, usually you can get them put on a frame and they'll be about 0 0.75, 0 0.75 inches or one and a half inches. So I think this is about a one and a half inch one. Um, and around the edge, you can see the, the print carries over. So that's a mirrored edge. So what you've got is the whole print on the front. And what they do then is they kind of reflect the edges a bit around there so that it doesn't look unfinished. And then so that it looks like the kind of image is carried across there. If you don't like that, you can actually just leave that blank or get it filled in with a certain colour. So you might choose, say, this colour here, this kind of tan colour, to go around the edge. It's up to you. You can, make, you can choose those. These are all options on my website, by the way. And one other thing you can do with this, so if you like that, you can just, again, it comes, there's a hook there, really easy to hang, very lightweight as well. Archival quality should last a long time, just like the metal and the next ones that I'm going to show you. Um, but if you wanted a more finished look to this, or a different type of finish, you can actually put a frame around it as well. So there wouldn't be matting like you get with this type of thing. You wouldn't have a white mat. The frame will go right onto the edge of the image, and it'll probably be quite thin. And it actually gives it a really nice finished look. So you can add that or you can use this. So you could get like a thin black frame around the edge of it, which is quite good. So that is canvas. And 
comes with another one is acrylic. So this looks like it doesn't look different. So I say the colours are different, but it doesn't look different. It's just that I suppose it's the finish really. But usually you'll see the, quite a big difference. So as I say, I'm just amazed that these are all looking pretty much the same on the different types of material that they've been printed on. So this is acrylic, as you can see there. This is really good for bringing the colours out. And what they tend to do here is you can't really see it very easily. But the print uh, is made and then it's pressed, the acrylic's pressed into it onto the back of this. Well, there's the back in there. And then they put the print on and there's the acrylic and then it's pressed. Um, really nice format, heavier than the other two, than the metal and the canvas. Uh, but this, if you really like a modern look and if you really like the colours to really pop, the acrylic's the way to go. It's really, it's, it's uh, really quite impressive the way you can bring colours out and how nice it can make pictures look. So that's the acrylic. By the way, these sizes, these two sizes, really I try not to handle them too much, are both uh, 8 by 12. 8 by 12, which is, I think is the smallest size I have in these. And then the metal one was 18 by 12. So I'll give you a comparison on the sizes. Let me bring this one round. 8 by 12. Well, I'm doing a balance now, do I? And 18 by 12 and 8 by 12. So the thing with these is if, you, if you're going to get something, if you've got space in mind, just check the size of the space and see what size fits best with it. Um, you know, if you've got like a narrow wall or a post or something like that, then you might be able to work with something like this. 8 by 12, just hang it there, it's really nice. If you've got a big wall and you've got like lots of space that you want to fill, you can go big. And this, some of these images, I think usually, with most of them, I've got them stopping at around, might be 30 by 20 or 36 something like that, I'm not sure. Um, but some of the newer images go bigger than that as well. They can go bigger, I just tend to stop them there so you can you know, make a decision about what you want to do there. Um, oh, here's the other one, final one. So I mentioned this the other day. Colours are definitely, definitely different on this one. So this is one of the merch items. So if you saw my video the other day, you will have seen things like tote bag, puzzle, um, cushion, uh, ooh, I've forgotten. Oh, phone cases and mugs. So this is the mug for this one. So let me hold up. I'll take the canvas one so you can compare the colours that way. There's the colours. So this is the mug and it's not too bad actually. See, there's that part. Of it. It's obviously got a shine on it, but it tends to be a little bit paler. Uh, but you can get it printed on a mug as well. Just so much choice. Okay, that's it. Um, so I think they're the main ones is the matted and framed, just the print, metal, acrylic, canvas, all options for I think all the images are on the website and that's it. So have a look, if you've got any questions you can send me a message, uh, it's all over my website where you can contact me or you can DM me here, uh, you can catch me on Facebook, you can even catch me on YouTube, no, yes I'm afraid you can. Um, one last thing, remember that my Black Friday sale is on. So it's actually a really good time to buy because this is like the big sale of the year. And I don't have many sales anyway because I just don't get to them. Uh, but this is 30% off for everything at the website except gift cards. There are, there are greeting cards you can get 30% off, but not the gift cards. At least I think you can. 30% uh, off till next Friday, which is the 19th. Um, you just have to go uh, to the website, sort your order, and when you go to checkout, you use the code BFS21, that's BFS for Black Friday sale, 21, and that should knock the 30% off. If you've got any problems, just send me a quick message. Or if you want me to go through it with you, because I know it can be a little bit more complicated, and that reminds me of something else. Um, I'm familiar with the website, so I kind of know how it works, but it's this, that kind of approach where you think, oh, there's so much choice there and it's so easy to follow, but if you're not familiar with it, that's a different issue altogether. Um, so you can actually... Just send me a message, I'll sit and walk you through it, either just browsing through the site or talking about stuff you want to look at, or helping you with actually making the purchase. You know, whatever you want, just, just send me a message and I'll be there. Um, that's it. The other thing is I did post a video, um, it's up at my website on the latest blog post. I've still got my reading glasses on. I say this every time I'm doing a video. I need my glasses and I'm standing here when I don't need them with the glasses on. Anyway, 
new blog post at the website, um, and it's a very brief one because it's basically just introducing a video, which is a walkthrough video of the website, and that's up at YouTube as well. So the idea is it's just, I think it, it may be about 15 minutes long, maybe a little bit longer, and just taking you through the website and taking you through the different options. So you can always have a look at that, and then, you know, just wander through yourself, or again, if you just want me to help you with it, or just want to have a chat, just let me know. I, I've got no problems with that. Um, hi to everybody. Um, I can see some of you there. Um, I just be so focused on what I'm talking about. Um, anyway, that's it. So, thanks for visiting. Uh, thanks for anyone watching afterwards. If you've got any questions, make sure you get in touch with me. Liz is Stanton Dot Photography. Direct mention. Uh, direct mention. Direct message me. Uh, you can get me through Facebook as well. Um, and whatever, send me an email. Do what, do whichever works best for you. And I will see you again soon. Have a great weekend. It looks like it might be quite nice. It's supposed to be raining a lot here, but to be fair, perfectly honest, there's no sign of it right now. And it's another bright, sunny day in November. Who'd have believed it? All right, so thanks. Have a great weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye.